rolling motion what is rolling motion when a body performs both translatory motion and rotatory motion is called rolling motion here this is spear performing both translatory motion and rotational motion it has center c here velocity of center of mass represents its translatory motion that is vcm and its angular velocity represents its rotatory motion that is omega rolling motion without slipping is called pure rolling motion that means the body rolls under friction now we will discuss about linear velocities at different points linear velocity at different points first i will consider a pure translatory motion consider a sphere which is in pure translatory motion here i will identify linear velocity at different points that is at a at b at c that means at its center and at d here velocity at point a is along tangent that is v and velocity at point b is along a straight line that is also v and velocity at its center that is velocity of center of mass that is also v here velocity at its lowest point that means at d that will be v now we will identify linear velocity at different points in pure rotatory motion here i will consider one sphere which is in pure rotatory motion now i will identify linear velocity at different points that is at a at b and at its center c and at lowest point d this sphere in pure rotatory motion it has angular velocity omega so at point a linear velocity is along tangent that will be v and at point b the direction of linear velocity along the tangent that is vertically downward that is v and at point c linear velocity will be zero that is at point c v equal to zero because the sphere is in rotatory motion and at point d the direction of velocity is along the tangent towards left side that is v now we will find linear velocity at different points in a pure rolling motion in a pure rolling motion body performs both translatory and rotatory motion so here i will consider one sphere which performs both translatory and rotatory motion so here i will identify velocities at different points that is velocity at point a at point b 
at its center C and at lowest point D. Now we will identify velocity at point A. Here velocity at point A is the resultant velocity at point A in both translatory and rotatory motion. So at point A in above figures, if you observe means both velocities are acting in same direction. So the resultant velocity we can calculate by applying parallelogram law that is velocity at point A, V at A is equal to root over V square plus V square plus 2V square cos theta, theta angle between both velocities at point A will be 0. So, cos 0. Then we will get V square plus V square 2V square cos 0 1. So, we will get root over 4V square. Root over 4V square means we will get 2V. So, at point A, we got velocity that is 2V. Now, we will calculate velocity at point B. At point B, in above two figures, both velocities are perpendicular to each other. Look at here. At point B, in first figure, Velocity is acting towards right side and in second figure velocity is acting downward. Okay. So, what is the angle between them? 90 degrees. So, we can calculate resultant velocity that is V at B is equal to root over V square plus V square plus 2 V square cos 90. See cos 90 0. Then we will get root over 2 v square. That is equal to v root 2. So, we got velocity at point B. That is v root 2. Now, what about velocity at point C? Velocity at point C, if you observe above two figures, in first pure translatory motion, velocity at point C is V along straight line. But in second pure rotatory motion, velocity at point C is 0. Okay. Then there is some we will get V. So, at point C, velocity will be V. That is velocity of center of mass at point C will be v then what about velocity at point d at point d if you observe above two figures both velocities are acting opposite to each other then the angle between them is 180 then we find resultant velocity at point d that is v at d is equal to root over v square plus v square plus 2v square cos 180. So, cos 180 means you know that uh, that is a minus 1. So, you will get root over 2v square minus 2v square. Then you will get 0. So, velocity at d we got velocity at d v equal to 0 here. So, here we found linear velocity at different points in pure rolling motion. So, today we discussed about rolling motion. What is rolling motion? When a body performs both translatory and rotatory motion is called rolling motion. Then what is pure rolling motion? Pure rolling motion means a rolling motion without slipping. That means body rolls under friction is called pure rolling motion. Then we discussed about linear velocity at different points. 
in this case we calculated velocity at different points in pure translatory motion uh, pure rotatory motion and pure rolling motion that's about this session my dear students i hope you like this session if you like it please put like thanks for watching my video bye students